Mind Seekers, we're coming to you today from Richmond, Virginia, and more specifically, we're coming to you from the historic Chaco Farm. This is located in downtown Richmond. We've had some viewers suggest us to come to Bottoms Up Pizza and give this place a try. So we decided we'd ride down here today, try it out for lunch, and see what we think of it. So y'all, let's go inside and see what all they have to offer. Let's go check this place out. Let's do it. This is what Bottoms Up Pizza looks like, located in downtown Richmond. Here are the hours of operation for Bottoms Up Pizza. Sunday, they open from 11 to 9 p.m. Monday through Thursday from 11 to 10 p.m. Friday and Saturday, they open from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Now, this is what it looks like on the main area as you walk into front door. You'll notice they have a little bar area. And this is one of the dining room areas. And they also have an upstairs seating area. At this time, they're not using it. We're here in the afternoon on a Saturday, so it's not terribly busy. But this is very nice upstairs. It also has an outside seating area. This is up, located upstairs, right off the dining room area. And I love this old train trestle right here beside the place. This is located right there in downtown Richmond. Well, let's take a look at the menu for Bottoms Up Pizza. This is located in downtown Richmond in the historic Chaco Bottom. As you open up the menu, Bottoms Up Pizza tells a little bit about the history. Here at Bottoms Up Pizza, pizza is their passion. This ain't Chicago or New York style crust. Prepare to experience what they call Richmond style pizza. Bake fresh daily. The legendary sourdough crust takes over 12 hours to prepare. Each crust is brushed with pure olive oil to create a crust which is airy, thick, and crisp. And this tells a little bit about, more about the history. If you'd like to read it, please pause the video. Uh, let's take a look at what all they have to offer, starting with the appetizers. That cheesy bread track, that sure does sound good. And here's a look at the salads. Now this is the thick sourdough signature pizza. You can get it by the slice, a medium, or a large. And they have red sauce, white sauce. Let's show you what all they are. The meat master. I think that's what we're gonna go with today. Here are the white sauce pizzas. And at the very bottom, you'll find the specialty sauces. The next page in the menu has the thin and gluten-free signature pizza. They come in thin or gluten-free. It's a 12-inch pizza. Again, it's available in red sauce and white sauce. It's the same choices, but the crust is different. On this side of the menu, this is called the Create Your Own Pizza. You can get it by the slice, medium, large, thin crust or gluten free, they are the prices. You choose your crust, second you choose your sauce, third choose your toppings, and this is what all they have in the topping line.
Here's the cheese and meat that they're available. They have seafood toppings. And then vegan choices. They also have a vegan menu that's available by the slice, medium, large, thin, portobello. Here are some of the signature vegan pizzas available. You can create your own vegan pizza. There are the sauces, the cheese, here's the topping. Well, let's take a look at the burgers and sandwiches. Some pocket sandwiches. Portobello mushroom pizza. From the smokehouse. Pasta. And last but not least, let's look at the desserts. Here's the beverages. Here's the kids' menu. They do have some merchandise for sale in the retail gift shop. For an appetizer, we decided to try an order of the cheesy bread tracks. This is some like breadsticks with mozzarella cheese with a red dipping sauce. This show does look great. And there is plenty of cheese on this. There's no shortage. Cindy, go ahead and get you one and try it and let me know what you think of them. I know I'm going to love it with this cheese. It's definitely no shortage of cheese, is it? No, it isn't. Wow. It looks delicious, but it also smells amazing. They do smell good. I want to go ahead and take a, take a bite of this and see how it is. So what do you think after taking your first bite of that cheese stick, Cindy? David, this is worth the drive to Richmond just for these cheese sticks. Is that good? It is that good. I cannot wait for you to try it. You've got the amazing crust that they use for the pizza. So the pizza's going to be good, I know. But then I can taste that olive oil. Uh -huh. And then this cheese and the garlic. It just comes together and it's delicious. Well, I can't wait to try it. All right, Carly, you've already tried it with some sauce. What do you think of the breadstick? It's delicious. I love it. It has a good flavoring to it. Very cheesy. I highly recommend it. Well, try it with the sauce and let me know what you think. Try not to get it all over you. <laughs> what do you think? You give it a thumbs up. For Cindy, I've tried one bite so far, like you said. They, they are great. They're amazing. My first one, they're a little bit crisp on the bottom. And um, very cheesy. They got a whole lot of cheese on it, which I like. And I'm going to try some of the amazing red sauce on it. <laughs> it's some good stuff in it, Dave. It is. I can make a meal just off of this. Yeah, I was thinking this and a salad would be amazing. That's some delicious cheese bread. Now, pizza has come to the table. We ordered the Meat Master. Tell us what all comes on the Meat Master, Cindy. Dave, the Meat Master has ground beef, Italian sausage, ham, pepperoni, and we got the thick sourdough signature pizzas that they have here at Bottoms Up. And this pizza looks amazing. One thing I will say, it's definitely cheesy. Yes, it is. All right, Cindy, let's get this pizza on some plates and let's try it. Yes, it looks so good. Ooh, look at all that look cheese. Look at all that cheese coming up. Red, ain't no more. That's my kind of pizza. <laughs>
I love a piece with lots of cheese, and this definitely has a lot of cheese. Yes, I'm going to give does. you the first piece, Cindy. Oh, that's very nice of you. Thank you. You ready for a piece yet, Cindy Carlin? All right. Let's give you this one. It's got a lot of cheese on it as well. And you know how Carly loves cheese. We definitely need to give her a good piece. She's been get in school you a little plate. all week working hard. Here you go, honey. And I'm going to take this piece right over here. You know, normally we would have probably got a large size, but since we got the appetizer, we decided to get the medium, so I think this will be enough for all of us to share, I think. Oh, absolutely. I think so, too. Well, let's try it and see what you think of it. David, wow. First of all, you can see the thickness of the crust. It's, it's different than what we're used to, but it is so, so good. Um, it's sourdough. You can see the, on the bottom. I am in love with these toppings. I think it was the sausage that I had. It was so delicious. It was so tasty. Uh, and this is definitely some good pizza. I just like how the flavors of the different meats come together with that sauce and then with the crust and the cheese. This is some really good pizza. We were um, asked by some different subscribers to check this place out and how good the pizza is. And I'm so glad we did. This is really amazing pizza. Carly, what do you think about your pizza so far? I noticed you know, ate most of it, so you must really like it. It's very good. I love it. Very cheesy. The dough is super soft. I love it. David, I just want to touch base about this crust. It is so soft. And then when you get here to the edge of the crust, it's nice and crunchy. So you've got two different textures within this pizza. It makes a really good pizza crust. Now, I want to get David's reaction when he has his first bite of this pizza. This will be my first taste. Let's see what I think of it. First of all, all that meat, it's just like an explosion in your mouth. Yes, it is. Especially if I can taste that sausage, that hamburger. All that just blends together perfectly. I love the amount of cheese on this pizza. The, the pizza is definitely cheesy. I love a lot of, of cheese on the pizza. This is definitely a pizza that I like. You had mentioned about the crust. The crust is very soft. It's not real hard. If you look at the bottom of it, it's cooked to perfection. It's not burnt up. Not at all. It's just an excellent pizza. Uh, I think we made the right choice by trying to meat lovers. Well, sitting this, all I've got left of my first slice. This pizza is definitely delicious. It's the closest thing to being like a Chicago-style pizza, in my opinion, because it's thick, lots of cheese, the sauce, but it's not a Chicago-style pizza at the same time. Just a delicious pizza. I like how the menu categorized it as being a, a Richmond pizza. And that's definitely something different. And that's what I'm going to call it, a Richmond pizza. Hey, different but delicious Richmond pizza. Yep. Our server has brought the ticket to the table. We had the mozzarella tracks, the 12-inch meat master pizza. We all drank water. And the total came up to be $33.94 after sales tax. Well, Cindy, what did you think about your experience today at bottoms up pizza david i loved it thank you to everybody who recommended us to come here and try this pizza i've already told you how good it was that bread that crust was so soft my favorite thing though even more than the pizza was that appetizer that cheesy bread was so good guys we're out here downtown richmond lots of traffic going by somebody weed eating Lots of noise going on, so we just hope that you can hear our closing review. Well, Cindy, that's just a normal closing for it us. It is. Every time we go somewhere, somebody's going to break out a weed eater, lad exhaust, dog bark. There's going to be something going on. Absolutely. But, but anyway, getting back to the food, I certainly did enjoy this restaurant today. Like you had mentioned about the appetizers, the appetizer was amazing. I thoroughly enjoyed those uh, cheesy breadsticks. Oh, yeah. It was no shortage of cheese on those breadsticks. The pizza was amazing. I could not get over how that crust on that pizza was. On the end, 
very soft, but as you get up to the, the crust part, the crust is kind of crispy and um, just a delicious pizza. All those um, meats, because we got the meat pizza, all those meats just blended well, left a perfectly uh, explosion of meat in your mouth when you bit into it. Yes. It did. That, that sausage was uh, great tasting. The uh, hamburger, just everything was amazing. We had a great server here today. Highly recommend Bottoms Up Pizza if you're in the Richmond area. Carly, what did you think about your food today? It was very good. Um, the cheese bread stick thing, they tasted delicious. I highly enjoyed the pizza too. The dough was really soft up until you got to the, um, yes, it, but other than that, it was delicious. I really enjoyed it. And we even had pizza left over pizza. It's very silly. And so we got a medium instead of a large. I'm so glad we didn't get a large because we could easily handle a medium because of having the bread. The pizza is definitely filling. It was a, a thick pizza. Like I said, mentioned earlier, it kind of reminded me almost of like a Chicago style pizza, but it's not. Just a, a very filling pizza with that appetizer. It was more than enough for us three. Anything else y'all like to add? No. Nope. Just if you love pizza like we do, you need to come here and try this pizza out because it is a different taste of pizza. Well, Carla, tell our viewers what to do now, honey. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss our latest and greatest videos. See you next time. Thank you for watching. God bless. Thank y'all. Thank you. Bye-bye.